Hello, dear friends. Where does human being come from? Everyone thinks he knows. Where does he want to go? Few know. Said Kant. Opinion piece. Dissident science. Astrophysicist Avi Loeb. Admire and criticized. Supported by tycoons. Six exotic technology. Extraordinary evidence. His colleagues are angry. Fragments of exotic technology. Confronted with academic dogma. The global geopolitical tide has changed. A late start. A Harvard professor risks his reputation to search for extraterrestrials and several technology magnates finance his search. Astrophysicist Avi Loeb searches for alien technology on Earth, which has provoked the anger of many of his colleagues. The professor's research is funded by tech moguls angry at academic dogma. Avi Loeb believes it's time for the scientific community to overcome its prejudices against UFOs. The professor has revolutionized the world of astrophysicists by stating that it is reasonable to suggest that the extraterrestrial intelligence is behind two recent discoveries. Several of Loeb's colleagues are angry. They say an extraordinary claim requires extraordinary evidence, but scientists have always been reluctant to look for such kind of evidence. Obviously, they will never have extraordinary evidence if you don't look for it, Loeb explains. Loeb's hypothesis suggests that Oumuamua could be an interstellar probe sent by a distant civilization or the remains of an extraterrestrial artifact. This theory has generated significant controversy and criticism from various renowned scientists. And the tweet by criticism, Loeb has published a book, Extraterrestrial Humanity's First Encounter with Intelligent Life Beyond Death, to explain his theory to the general public. He is a strong advocate of the search for extraterrestrial life and believes that discovering that would have profound implications for humankind, changing our perspective on our place in the universe, our aspirations regarding space and international relations. Dot. Loeb's fascination with the possibility of external life extends to his search for intelligence elsewhere in the cosmos. He often finds intelligence lacking on Earth and believes that humankind should behave more intelligently before being admitted to the intelligence club. Loeb's latest discovery involves that he believes are fragments of alien technology found in the Oceania Papua Nueva Gu New, New Guinea. It confirmed, if confirmed this discovery, would have a significant impact on his research into extraterrestrial life. Loeb's unconventional approach to science has earned him both admiration and criticism. He has been described as a dreamer obsessed with answering the unfathomable unknowns of deep space, who has navigated the murky waters of controversy and dodged the poisoned deaths of his fellow skeptics. Despite challenges and skepticism from his scientific colleagues, Loeb remains unfaced and continues his search for extraterrestrial life and technology. Dark energy. According to a new pair of studies published in the Royal Astronomic Society months, monthly news, there is a good chance that there is there are life supporting planets in a parallel universe, even if that universe were being torn apart by dark energy. Dark energy is a mysterious invisible force that is believed to exist to exist in the empty spaces of our universe. It can be considered the enemy of gravity. While gravity brings matter closer, dark energy pulls it apart, 
easily winning this comic tug of war. The idea that a universe is just one of the many of many other universes, perhaps infinite, is known as multiverse theory. Scientists had previously thought that such parallel universes, if they existed, would have to meet a very strict set of criteria to allow the formation of stars, galaxies, and life-supporting planets like those seen in our own universe. Not only is our universe expanding thanks to the constant invisible push of dark energy, but the pace of that expansion is also getting faster every day. As more empty space appears in the universe, even more dark energy appears to fill it. This is not the same as dark matter, which is abundant, invisible form, invisible form of matter responsible for some very strange gravitational phenomena in space. Scientists don't know what dark energy is or how it works. Some think it is an intrinsic property of space, while others attribute it to a fundamental force called called quinta essence, with its own dynamic rules. Others don't even agree that it exists. Almost 70% of the mass energy of our universe may be composed of dark energy. Opinions. Alex Newman believes that the UN plans a totalitarian future. Sierra believes that the real fight is being fought behind the scenes out of the public eye. According to Benjamin Fulford, the attempt to provoke the Third World Party has failed. The geopolitical tide has changed and the central bank system is ending. Pufner said, You are all being caught up in learning about the consequences and ramifications of what it means to lose your freedom. There is evidence that you are progressing in many ways, ways that you don't you do not yet see. Just know this, it's always darkest before the dawn and it's dark right now. This is a fact. There are better things in this story. Economy. Copper supply shortage is here. High food prices could bottom out in 2024, says Oxford Economics. Morgan Stanley says there are only a couple of years left to solve the debt problem. Commercial real estate for closures so to the highest level in a decade. Markets can absorb geopolitical risks to some extent. The IMF explains the reason for the growth for the growth of the Russian economy despite sanctions. The G7 could take 10 years to achieve Russian nuclear fuel production. War rumors. World military spending reaches its all-time high, increased in 2023 for the ninth consecutive year. Shipping industry calls of UN for enhanced military presence as chaos spreads at maritime choke points. The head of Israel military intelligence resigns due to the failure of October the 7th. Europe. The Ukrainian economy is bankrupt and is only supported by Western loans. The conflict in Ukraine could end by the end of 2025, Hungary's Orban believes. NATO pressures Greece and Spain to hand over Europe's remaining air defense systems to Ukraine. Spain is exposed to sanctions from Brussels with the fourth highest debt in the EU. In the EU, the temperature in Spain drops up to 10 degrees Celsius at the beginning of the week. USA, the US begins negotiation to withdraw its troops from Niger. The US could sanction the Israeli army for the first time. Syrian President Assad confirms direct talks with Washington. The FBI warns of the risk of a Chinese cyber attack on energy infrastructure. Tucker Carlson says lawmakers fear being framed by secret agencies. 
Joe Biden suggests that his uncle was eaten by cannibals in Papua New Guinea. Americas. Mexico would take advantage of the US-China trade war to get into the semiconductor industry. A request for impeachment against President Javier Milei is presented in Argentina. Controversy over a possible awarding of Milei to China to print new banknotes. Reflections. Surveillance is a violation of our dignity, according to Charles. Opinion column in the New York Times, published 10 years ago, in quote, it's not the government we should monitor, but private corporations. They are recording almost everything we do. If what we do leaves a digital footprint, and almost every we do leaves one, collecting such personal information is an affront to our dignity. We all have the right to privacy in our lives our lives, our finances, and even our moral indiscretions. And even if we have some, if we have done something immoral, we still have the right to privacy, to our dignity, to our humanity. More than 2000 years ago, Socrates said, in quotes, democracy must fall because it will try to adapt to everyone. The poor will want the wealth of the rich and democracy will give it, it to them. Young people will want to be respected as adults and democracy will give it to them. Women will want to be like men and democracy will give them that. Foreigners will want the rights of natives and democracy will give them. Thieves and fraud sectors will want important government functions and democracy will give them to them. And at that moment, when the thieves and swindlers finally take authority democratically because they want power, there will be a dictatorship worse than in the era of any monarchy or oligarchy. Close quotes. Starseed is a concept that refers to advanced beings from other planets and realms who possess spiritual and scientific knowledge dating back hundreds of thousands of years. Stasids are traveling souls who incarnate on Earth to inspire, heal human beings, and participate in the evolution of a planet. These seeds can be considered physical descendants of other worldly beings, missionaries of light, or souls that have been infused with the light of other souls. In summary, Stasids are advanced spiritual beings who incarnate on Earth in order to contribute to the spiritual growth and evolution of the planet. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.